We can all remember examples of people around the world who saw Jesus in the oddest places. There have been sightings of Jesus in a toasted sandwich, in frying pan remains, and a slice of pizza. And there was yet another Jesus sighting in mid-March 2009. This time, someone saw Jesus in the back cushion of a chair. And then, less than two weeks later, there was a Jesus sighting in a meteorite. Then, a couple of days later, a Belgian saw another Jesus appear on Google Earth. So, there were three Jesus sightings in quick succession. And each sighting caused a great deal of commotion and attracted a lot of attention. We spotted a fantastic have a break, have a Kit Kat moment in this popular madness. And we wanted to leverage it for advertising. Not by placing an ad, but rather by taking precisely the same path that these types of phenomena take. We created a credible fake email, not from our ad agency or an advertiser, but rather from some guy from Amsterdam, who after taking a bite, to his utter disbelief, saw Jesus appear in his Kit Kat. We then sent this email a week later, on Good Friday before Easter, to the two largest Dutch news sites, new.nl and telegraph.nl. And we attached these two pictures with the email as proof. The new.nl news site picked up on the story immediately. And from that moment, the story spread like wildfire. It appeared on news sites, blogs, and communities. Hundreds of people responded. And then, one foreign news site and blog after another covered the story in the days that followed. Within just four days, the Jesus Kit Kat was on more than 100,000 websites. More and more people started catching on to the have a break joke in the report. And they started picking up on the fact that the report had been published on Good Friday just before Easter. In most cases, people made the connection between this Jesus sighting and the extremely well-known Kit Kat payoff. They turned it into advertising themselves, as we read in their headlines and postings. Have a break, have a Jesus Kit Kat, for example. Or, give me a break a Jesus Kit Kat, or give Jesus a break, and so on. And that's how we used this simple and extremely cheap online PR stunt to achieve more contacts in a couple of days than you ever could with standard advertising in the Netherlands. Contacts that were also each much more intense and longer lasting than with an advertisement. The result was that people around the globe were focused for a good 10 days on Kit Kat and their creed have a break, have a Kit Kat, without us ever showing a Kit Kat logo or stating a tagline.